Hello everyone and welcome to episode 42 of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. The answer to life, the universe, and everything lies within this episode. Oh wait, wrong franchise. Anyway, yeah, this is episode 42. Um, I think we're actually moving through this game fairly well. Although there is a lot of game to move through in this particular one. We had explored up to here in the previous episode and we're talking to people along the way. We got more people to talk to. Circuit Patrol Guard. Oh boy. Genchopa Chawi, Tichok Twees, Yun Kun, Watu Yama Kama Wuna Henak Nek, Bugra Shak, Kunti Chiwa Unchawa, Dong Abuk Shami No Nok. I'm Bastila, yes. I take it that you know my mother. Bona na kachu, kicha badwang, wanga kum kiba bu mule ra, kakin chak nawa gawa bakon, donk kiba nukunek, tanga boksha um nak nong. Is there something I can do for you, miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. Don't be rude, Bastila. Kakin cha na kwat na bon kon, wana kumbes, chi pala mulek, tong ki pa na nonek, tu nik ton chu chun ki nemolek rabest, wuf mala nibo kurk. My mother's condition? Ti un pa do punta krita, ak ti kondo ona chaba chisa wanki, ti toki grantu kon chi chan kun green kanchan tu pro, bok wala no bok cha, ni chi kon chuva kin lota ika kun. I've not seen my mother since I joined the Order. Do you know what's happened? Did she... did she say anything about my father? Genchopa chawi ti chok twees yun kun Watu yama kama wuna henak nek Bugra shak kunti chi wa um chawa Dong abuk shami no nok I see. Where did you meet her, do you remember? Shachi ka don mulaka Watu yuma ka wama hona nek Ashantik dun unumani patoka Wanna kuna best chinga para multonki. Thank you for informing me. I really must be going now. What's this all about? Seems my mother's been looking for me. <laughs> Strange. Should we get the opportunity? Could we look for her on Tatooine? I thought you and mother didn't get along. Certainly, if you think it's important. We never did. I am interested in hearing about my father, however. Part of me would rather not see her at all. But if she's really sick. We shall see. Okay, so we need to go back to Tatooine and speak with, uh... You know, Zerga Corporation try to find her mom. Make room for some school Let's see, uh, Zerga Captain. Here, Spacer. Zerga Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in Wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Wookiee hunters usually keep numbers down. But I think they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. What do you know about the Wookiees? You're the Wookiee lover. Why don't you tell me about them? I'm sure you're real close friends. <coughs> Keep your pet on a leash, or you'll be wearing him. I have no love for these animals. I've seen guards ripped to shreds. Maybe I should let him rip your arms off. I don't take kindly to threats. Don't test me, Spacer. We've more than enough firepower to bury you here. I'm just trying to get my bearings. I don't mean any harm. I meant nothing by it. Could you answer my questions? Ah, you ain't so bad. Was there anything else you needed? What do you know about the Wookiees? You're the Wookiee lo- <laughs> Keep your pet on- So the Wookiees are fighting back? Not anymore. Look, you want to know why the Wookiees are acting compliant? You go ask them. When they rip your head off, we'll fish it out of the Shadowlands and give it a proper burial. How about that? What are you talking about the Zerga Corporation? I don't talk to lovers. Get rid of your rug, and maybe I won't have you shot. I won't stop you, but you leave this area at your own risk. We're here to protect the company. Not you. Okay, so this guy's a prejudice dickbag. Let's talk to this guy. I carry a blaster. The captain doesn't talk to Great, the great walkway. Let's go out here and see if we can't find any Wookiees to talk to. 
see what the fuck's going on, why they're enslaved, if we can do anything about that, all that kind of crap. And we need to get down into the lower regions. I imagine that's probably somewhere down on the surface is probably where the star map will be, somewhere in the forest. Forest Kenrath. While we're here, we also need to find the uh, attack gland of some kind of creature while we're out here. So we can get, uh, take it... Corpse. 14 credits, met, two med packs, and an oak kit, frag grenade. We need to find attack gland of some kind of creature. What can I expect to encounter? We'll deal with when deal with that when the time comes. Okay, so let's uh, see what's up with this droid here. How many parts do we have? A shitload. Let's talk to these guys. This isn't good. I can't afford this. You think I can? Do you know what they get for a healthy one of those things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. My name's Valerith. What happened this here? This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. Let's see, Zalbar, let me handle this. Careful now. That growl sounded pretty threatening. Keep your slave on its leash or we'll have another accident. Just shut up, you trigger-happy idiot. Do your superiors uh, approve of your Wookiee killing? Of course they don't. Why would you ask me that? Doing some sort of snap inspection? You're trying to get me to admit to incompetence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. We'll find another reason. This may cost you more than you know, fool. I won't allow you to enslave or kill another Wookiee. Is that a joke? Who do you think you are? This posting is trouble, friend. Get out while you can. You make some sense. I wonder what do you know about what might happen here. I mean, I think we should petition for a transfer. The corporation will survive a fight here, but us frontline guards won't. If... if you say so, Captain. Yes, I say so. Move out. This place just isn't worth the trouble. Light side points. Okay, we dealt with that. Let's see what's in this pack. Vibro sword and bow caster. I want to revisit. I want to go back to the ship so I can get someone who can deal with that mine. Return to the Evan Hawk. Yes.
Function unavailable at this time. Come on. Fine, I'll fucking walk back. Whatever. Just let me return to the damn Ebon Hawk so I can get somebody that can deal with that mine. That's what I want to do, is get something that will deal with that mine. But uh, my birthday's coming up. It is on the 9th, which should be a day or two after I post this, I believe. I'm recording a bunch of episodes on one day, as I usually do, so... I can't say 100% for certain what episode will go up on my birthday. But I am 100% certain that this episode will go up before my birthday. But my birthday is on June 9th. And... Actually, uh... I've already gotten a number of presents for my birthday. I, let's see, I got uh, a num four albums on vinyl, which I love collecting vinyl. I love, I love the sound of like with vinyl, you just get the sound of the music, not a digital interpretation of the sound like you get with CD or MP3. You just get the analog sound and nothing else. I really like that. But, but let's see, I got. Uh, ACDC, um, Highway to Hell, Ted Nugent's self-titled album, and say what you will about its politics, the man wrote a lot of good music back in the 70s. Um, let's see, uh, you, and you. Um, uh, Woodstock 2, which, the original Woodstock concert happened in 69, right? And then someone, there were a bunch, there was a bunch of footage of it filmed, and they put a bunch of the performances together into a movie about it. It was like a documentary type thing with a bunch of performances from a bunch of different bands. And they released that on a three LP uh, soundtrack album. And a year or two later, they released a second thing that was a bunch of stuff that wasn't included on that original recording that was called Woodstock 2. And I got that, which I haven't heard. And there's a couple bands on there that I don't know. So I'm looking forward to giving that a listen. And, and then I got um, Led Zeppelin 2, which I used to own a copy of Led Zeppelin 2. I bought it at um, a place near here called... Um, Called uh, Half Price Books. And that's a damn good album, man. My vinyl copy of it was stolen yes. from me. See, I used to live with a guy named Paul. Paul had a kid named Sebastian. And Sebastian's mother was his ex girlfriend named Mary. Because I live with Paul. Sebastian was over all the time. Or Sebastian was spent most of the time at our place. Because Sebastian was Paul's kid. And then, because of that, Mary was over a lot. And every single time Mary was over at our place, she stole something. Frequently it was from me. She would steal movies, games, and music from me. Die. So I lost a lot of stuff to her and her stealing from me. And Led Zeppelin 2 was one of the vinyls that I lost. So I'm really happy to own that one again. And my dad got a really good copy of it too. I mean, it sounds gorgeous. Refuse pile, small. Like, it sounds really good. It sounds like it doesn't hasn't even played that often. Like whoever previously owned it took really, really good care of this album.
so I'm proud to own that one again. And then I got one album on CD, which was uh, a Swedish death metal band called Grave with their first album, Into the Grave. It is also thoroughly enjoyable, and I like it quite a bit. Beyond that, I got, for the Xbox 360, I got the Game of the Year edition of Dead Island. And I still refuse to believe that anybody actually gave that game Game of the Year. Not buying it. No way. But it is a version that comes with all the downloadable content, which is cool. I have not played Dead Island, but my friend over... My friend, uh... Me over at Alloy 7 did a bunch of Halloween videos on it, and he made it sound like it might be interesting and fun to play, so I wanted to give it a try. I thought it might be fun. So I'm kind of looking forward to getting that started. Uh, and then what else did I get? Uh, there's a, uh, Killzone 3, which I played and beat in Killzone 1 and 2. Never played Killzone 3, so that this will be a first for me. I, I've heard that it's the best of the trilogy, so I'm kind of excited about playing it. It looks great. And I got a few Godzilla movies on Blu-ray, which if, if you are around me for very long, you'll learn that I love Godzilla. There's a statue of Godzilla that sits on top of my speaker, one of my speakers in my room. So I love Godzilla quite a bit, actually. So I'm excited to give those a watch. There's one that I haven't actually seen before, and that's Godzilla vs. Hedorah. I've never seen Godzilla vs. Hedorah. Or Godzilla vs. the Smog Monster, as I believe it was called here in the United States. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to watch that for the first time. Yeah, anytime you want to help, Mission, it would be appreciated. There goes another one. Ah, uh, shit. I didn't change the target. I don't know what you're talking about. This is the character that I want to kill. And it's the character that I did kill. Are there any more enemies down here? Locked. I'll fix your clock. Got you. Darn it. Skill too low. Got you. Let's try that one. Darn it. Sure. I did not mean to do that. I meant to heal. Let's go back this way. But my uncle's coming down, and we're going to go to a baseball game. Which I'm really excited. God, that is a big tree. Which I'm really excited about. We're going to go to a couple games. We're going to go to the Texas Rangers, who are actually kicking some ass right now. They're three games above 500 right now, and in sole possession of second place in their division, which is a lot more than anybody would have expected from a team from this team because everybody kind of expected them to be well below 500 by this point, but they're not. They're playing very well. Where's the Wookiee I need to see? 
What is that about Zalbar? Okay, so we can't get past the Wookiee guard for now. Yeah, I'm not trying to go to the Shadowlands. I'm trying to go this way. But uh, they brought up a, a young kid named Chichi Gonzalez who has pitched two games in the majors now. First one, he took a no-hitter. He had a no-hitter through five innings and took it into the... Uh, and it was finally broken up at the beginning of the fifth inning, the first batter of the fifth inning. Gave up two hits and got two outs and then was pulled. So five and a third, five and two thirds innings of no uh, shutout ball in his very first start, and he got his first win. Second game today was against the the reigning American League champs, the Kansas City Royals, and he pitched a complete game shutout. I'm a little, was a little bit surprised that they let him go the full inning, considering this is his first time in the big leagues. But he probably wanted to finish the game anyway. But he was great today. He looked excellent. And uh, the rest of the pitching staff is pitching pretty well as well. Okay, I'm going backwards. Um, I don't expect too incredibly much from Wandy Rodriguez, but he's been good. He has uh, constantly kept the Rangers in... I think he's had like one game where he wasn't all that good. But other than that, he has really kept the Rangers in every single ball game that he has pitched. And you really couldn't ask much more from the man. Giovanni Gallardo has been pretty good as well. Uh, Nick Martinez had a bad outing his last time, but that's really his only bad outing of the year. Other than that, he's been ranging from pretty good to really good. Supply station. Let's say before we do whatever this is. I forgot to say between episodes. We might be able to unlock it here. Inquire about primary functions. Slice the ID requirement. Okay, maybe we can get... Yeah, we can get into these now. Awesome. Free stuff. I'm all about free stuff. The hitting has really picked up, and the uh, bullpen has been a mu much more stable and very good lately. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. Okay, sounds like we're going to get a kick some Je Sith Jedi ass. Let's do that. Some Dark Jedi. You guys really don't stand a chance against me. You have to know that, right? There goes one. You're already half dead. Uh... But yeah, the hitting's been great, and they went from like eight or nine games below to three games above, so they've been playing some really good baseball. They won, they've won their last five series. They only swept one of them, but it doesn't matter too much when you keep winning at like one series after another after another, which is exactly what they're doing. And they've been fun to watch. Like, the one thing I wanted from the Texas Rangers this year was be better than last year and be fun to watch. Because last year they weren't. They were hard to watch. Because you would go into most of the games knowing that they would almost certainly not win. And it was just frustrating. Like, for the most part, they weren't even... It was an injury-ridden season, and it's a season that we would rather forget, so to speak. Wookie Guard.
What does he mean, Zalbar? What tank? This isn't going well. Okay, I cannot take him with me. Let's, uh... Let's, uh... Candorous. And, uh... Juhani. I like switching up my parties as often as possible. made deals with the slavers the truth will get out eventually a nice nest of lies you have constructed ignore him Chandar you are dealing with me now What do you want? Why drag us here? Is there a point to this? If the if this will only lead to a fight, I'd like to get out of it. What is this task? I will not abandon Zalbar to you. Standing against you, the first of many, perhaps? I won't do this to your own dirty work. Consider what you said, I'll go now. Keeping Zalbar makes this proposition even worse.
What are you talking about, Zalbar? He makes sense, Zalbar. Perhaps you should listen to him. Don't listen to him, Zalbar. It's not worth it. It is wrong to leave him imprisoned here. We should seek some way to free him when we have the chance. Okay, that's a uh, no. Huh? Auto level up. What is it? Yes. Okay. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you everybody for watching this episode of Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would be greatly appreciated. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thanks everybody again. Goodbye. <laughs>